This is Jerry Saturday with Texas Avocados. Uh, this is uh, September 1st, 2017. This is Labor Day weekend. Uh, we're in uh, the post-Hurricane uh, Harvey uh, stage. Uh, we did not get uh, much rain to speak of. We got maybe oh, a tenth of an inch, but man did we get some wind. Uh, so. Uh, but I just want to give you a little report. It shook most of my fruit off of trees. I just have a couple fruit left. But uh, we're here at the end of the summer and uh, things have continued to grow. This is my opal number one, as I call it, and it's uh, it's well up there, at least 15 uh, feet. Uh, this is my big grande tree, and, and it's way up there also in that 15 foot neighborhood, and I'm really not uh, uh, exaggerating. I have planted three new trees. Uh, well, they're really not new. I've been raising them for a while. This is one of my Don Juans. I just planted it and uh, it's doing good. The weather has kind of broken a little bit. We're not in that intense seat. So this is the time to start planting trees. Uh, <clears throat> this is my Charlie tree. It's a little smaller than the others, but uh, it's supposed to be a very good tree. <clears throat> and this is my other Don Juan. This is my third Don Juan. And uh, it is the biggest one. You can see that six foot fence where even in the ground, uh, it's, it's uh, over six foot in the pot. It was uh, uh, pretty close to eight feet tall, uh, seven and a half to eight feet tall. And my prior tree <coughs> is uh, growing. I still have a couple of fruit left on it. Uh, but it's putting out leaves for uh, the heat. Seemed like it just uh, was too much stress trying to put that fruit on or grow the fruit and grow leaves also. <coughs> and uh, things are just kind of moving on. Uh, my navel oranges are getting big. They got a little sunburn on them. My opal number three is uh, still growing. That's eight foot roof line, so it's up, uh, uh, you know, at least nine feet, maybe getting close to 10 feet tall. Uh, so everything is growing. Uh, my opal number two, it's, uh, oh, in that 12 foot neighborhood, 11 to 12 foot tall at least 11, maybe 12. Uh, I took that gazebo off the poncho and uh, kind of tied a string on it to uh, straighten it up a little bit. Uh, there's one runner that's going up probably close to nine feet and it's gonna be pretty bushy and this should fill out in the middle as time goes on. So everything uh, turned out pretty good for us. Uh, just that wind shook a lot of stuff off. I have uh, a couple opals still left on. And uh, if I can get my hand in there. These are, are pretty good sized fruit. If I can get it all in, in the view here. So uh, There's a few fruit left, but not many. And... Uh, my lemon tree is uh, growing. It's got runners going up, oh, at least eight feet tall. You can see it against the background. Uh, let's see, it's uh, really growing. So everything has, has uh, survived the summer. We did not have a, an intense summer. It was hot enough, 105 every day for several weeks. And uh, But uh, we kept them watered. I will tell you, during the heat, water them at least every other day. You don't have to flood them and drown them, but just so they get a drink through the heat. Uh, and as we get into a little cooler weather, you can kind of slow up. I had big water bills, but that's kind of part of it. If you want these trees, you need to take care of them. And and that's the, uh, the issue is uh, taking care of trees. Uh, they don't take care of themselves. You got an old oak tree, uh, you can just plant it and it will have a way of just kind of surviving. Uh, but these kind of need more care. But once you get them up past the young stage, uh, they are easier to maintain. 
uh, you don't have one thing you know get a bushy leaf uh, structure on them where they're not just a skinny little uh, like a broomstick with a few limbs on it uh, they turn into a very majestic tree uh, I'm kind of wondering you know when will these be 20 feet tall the way these things have been, uh, have been growing it won't be that long <laughs> Uh, it just amazed me at how much they have grown. Some of them haven't grown as fast as others. It just seems that some seem to grow faster than others. And uh, so it's just uh, been a learning experience for it for me. And I've enjoyed it uh, tremendously. Uh, my big apricot tree back there, uh, it's just kind of been there, uh, that freeze uh, thumped it pretty good and it you know it's put on a few leaves but it hasn't really grown to speak of uh, it did put on a little fruit during the spring uh, but uh, my big magnolia tree that thing has gotten huge all this water I've been putting on these other trees has really uh, uh, helped that tree to, to grow and be real healthy but life is going on uh, my lemon tree uh, has quite a bit of fruit on it. If you can see it, it's uh, getting bigger. It's still a few months. See, this fruit was on a, a late bloom. It wasn't the early bloom. So it's going to be later. And uh, But I'm just so happy to have lemons. <laughs> uh, so it's quite a, been quite an experience. So uh, we have survived the storm very well and my prayers all of our prayers here in san antonio for the folks in houston uh, that's uh, a catastrophic thing uh, when i was a kid they had hurricane beulah that came through the valley and uh, it's a different type storm a different place and setting and everything but uh, those were uh, very significant uh, it was a very significant experience and i, I guess i need let's see how my Joey is doing. It's up close to five and a half feet tall now, and it's pretty close to five, four, to four and a half, but um, maybe not quite five feet wide. This was one that froze back, and it was just a little sprout when it first came out in March. So these trees have uh, really amazed me at how good they've been doing, and I probably will take that gazebo off of it. Uh, I've just uh, still have. Uh, had a feel for uh, everything uh, as it's cooled down it seemed like it's kicked these trees into a growth spurt so uh, we're doing good life is good down here in the desert and I've been eating avocados every day uh, every time I go to town I take a sack of fruit and give it away we're just about out no though so if you're gonna come see me and get some better come soon God bless you and have a good Labor Day weekend.